Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome to DIY bracelets. So today I wanted to go over how to make some bracelets. And, you know, as easy as they, you, you think that they look, it's time to actually go ahead and make some. So, let's start with trying to pick out some beads. And I have several. So, I think what I want to do is we're going to do a simple, simple bracelet. And we're going to create. So, let's get to it. All right. So, what kind of wonderful beads do I want to create? What is jumping out at me? Okay, let's try and see. Um, yeah, I got some, hmm, I got some nice strawberry quartz. I haven't made a bracelet with these yet. We got some dragon rain right next to it. Hmm. Let's see about this pairing. Let's get some beads. Let's try dragon rain. Kind of a black and purple. Hmm. That looks kind of cool. Strawberry quartz and dragon vein. I think that looks pretty good. So why don't we go ahead and put them on my little disc board. see. Hey, Pam, how are you? Welcome, welcome. So I was thinking about doing a strawberry quartz with some dragon mane. What do you think? I think it makes, looks kind of dark, but it's actually like a clear quartz kind of. Strawberry pinky with some black and white. What do you think? Maybe put a charm on there. Doing good. Looking forward to seeing your work. <laughs> I mean, what, what kind of stone do you guys like? I probably have it more than likely. I am all over this place. I was just trying to pick out some colors to see, you know, what looked good. I have just about every stone you think of. Hey, Janice, welcome. I think that would be pretty. Oh, great. <laughs> yeah, I was looking at the color combination. It's kind of a clear quartz pinky with some dragon vein, which is a clear quartz. There's some inclusions. Dragon bang I get. Yeah, I think I I think I'm gonna do it. Let's do it. Nifty container. <laughs> Let's create something here, right? I'm gonna show you how easy it is to make your own bracelets. Okay, so let's all get the strawberry quartz because I love the strawberry quartz. It's a cleansing and cleaning stone. So there's all the strawberry quartz. Now, do 
I want to put the dragon vein together. Do I want to do that or do I want to do interspaced? Maybe add some spacers. Because, Lord, I got some spacers. I got tons and tons and tons. I like, I kind of like this. Need to send you a project, Lisa. Absolutely. Anytime. To decorate uh, the tops of some shoes I have. Oh, okay. Um, I love that they are all different meanings. I love pink myself. <laughs> Yeah, this is a kind of a darker pink because I have the rose quartz, you know, which is pinky pink. And then I also have pink opal, which is kind of a red, white, pink, a darker pink. And then you've got pink aventurine, which is kind of an orange pink. So it's kind of an orange pinkish, but that's the pink aventurine. And of course, you know, we've got the kind of violet lavender kyanite. No, not kyanite. Kunzite. This is kunzite. See, these are my cloudy quartz and my clear quartz. Hmm. Let's see what we can do today. Okay, do we want to put some flashy, some flashy spacers? I have gold also. Uh, I've got cubes. I've got, let me see. So this is kind of basic. Of course, I got these nice shiny cube ones. Hmm. I've got these cloth ones I've never used yet. Maybe put a paw in there. An animal charm. What do you think, guys? Ah, uh, hey, I love her keeping up with Colorado. Uh, separate the dragon stones. Okay, that sounds good. I've never seen red opal. No, this is pink opal. This is pink opal. See, it's a pinky. That's pink opal. Separate. Okay, let's see. Let's try every third one. And threes are always luck. Threes are always luck. One, two, three. Okay, so. Hmm. I got plans for right there, two and two. Okay. That one don't have many. Put that one in. What do you think of this, guys? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little charm right here in between these two. Durable is quartz. Hey, Red, how are you? Spaces that jingle. Oh, so we can make jingles happen. And we saying, hi, Red. Everybody saying hi. To, I See, I love everybody saying hi to everybody. Suggest so the ones that jingle. 
Let your spirit decide on the design. Well, see, this is kind of nice because we get to design together, guys. Ooh la la. <laughs> see, the best part is I have plenty of jingles. <laughs> jingles. Plenty, plenty. All those jumped out. Hmm. These jumped out. Hmm. I think that's going to be too many. But I do have, which we're going to use, which we can use, is we have an extender chain with a bell on it. So I'm going to put that here. Then I got to think of a nice charm. Since we're going to go with the gold, I got some gold charms. I have a ton of gold charms. Let's see. We got kitty cat. Hmm. My gold charms. So many charms. Oh, I like this one. Ooh. What do you think about that? To go with the strawberry. I think that'll look nice. I think that's what we're going to do. Yep. Okay. So this is going to go in between here with a little extender charm jingle jingle on the back. What do you think, guys? I think that's going to do it. I'm good. How are you? Show support. Hit the like. Thank you. Pretty. Um, do you have the smaller jingles that just tingle? Yeah, that's this one. See? Oh, see, it's, it's clashing with my other one. <laughs> I'm gonna take this one off so you can hear it. Oh no, I'll just do I'll just ring up ring on this side. Can you hear it? It's just a tingle. This is a jingle, and this is a tingle. Ah, I love it. Yep. We're going to use that. Okay. All right. So this is how you do a bracelet. You know, I am missing something. Yep. I didn't like my, my incense. It's like I'm missing something. <laughs> so much fun okay so I'm going to get this out of my way because I know what we have right okay I've never had I don't have a strawberry quartz one so let's try this okay so this is what we got going to go in there. We are going to use golden spacers. So I'm going to need a few of those. Do -be -do -do -do. And honestly, guys, this doesn't take long. It's just... I got some silver ones in there. It's 
it's always fun when it's, you know, so small, they all get mixed up in there. I'm like, all right, well, you know, just need a few. I'm basically taking out all the silver ones so I don't get messed up. <laughs> okay. Okay. So now we've got pink and kind of clear. So, nope, too bright. I have so much stretchy string. Pinky. I don't know how it look with the black. Maybe I'll just go with white. You're on a safe bet out with white, right? <laughs> Whoa, wait a minute. Can I see how it looks with the lighter pink stone instead of the dark dragon vein stone? Ooh, cherry blossom. Seems beating like another craft have often a cooch. Oh man, you have no idea the accoutrements I have. I mean, honestly, <laughs> I have like a case that's completely charms, spacers. Um, that, oh my goodness, I can't even begin to tell you how much I have. And then with the beads, I have like two sets, one in eight millimeter, one in six, one in four, one in two, faceted, non-faceted, round. Oh my goodness. A whole van full. <laughs> well, you saw the picture. That's pretty much my workstation. That's where I'm working from right now. You know, you guys can take a look. You know, excuse the, uh, the movement for a bit. That case right there is all my accoutrements, all my charms, my spacers, my jingles. And they're, you know, they're like 3D, you know, three compartments deep, everything. <laughs> all right. Then we've got the beads. Like this is all my natural beads. And then that's my, um, over there is my uh, man-made ones. These are my uh, uh, six millimeters two millimeter faceted. And again, they're, you know, three deep. <laughs> and then I've got all of the accoutrements here. This is usually what I put in my bag. So I, when I go to the van or a cruise or anything like that, this is, these are the cases I take with me to, to go ahead and use. And of course I've got all my wonderful accoutrements. This case is all my string that I do all my macrame stuff in. And of course my incense and my tools gotta have the tools so that's pretty much a quick rundown of the studio <laughs> where i create all this loveliness oh you wanted to see the lighter pink instead of the dark one the pink aventurine or the pinky pinky the lighter pink one Let's see. Oh, that kind of makes it pop. Oh, and especially with the, um, the Sakura. Good choice. One, two, three, that one goes here. I kind of like that. I think I like that better than the Dragon Bang. Kind of makes it pop. Good choice, Janice. I like that better. So we're gonna stick with that. We'll put these bad boys back for another day.
Who am I? That's a ton of stuff. <laughs> you know, a whole man's worth. Actually, you know, it's really not that bad. Um, Because I think when I do go full time, I might actually get a bigger van. But for now, I just take that side basket and that's what I take and use when I'm on the road with the uh, with my Cascade camper. I don't know yet. I like it. Yeah, I think so too. I like that too, especially with the strawberry quartz and then the Sakura. So this is like the, you can see it's pinky pinky. Okay. So this is how you actually make like a simple, you know, no frills, no kind of thing bracelet. Um, you just take a little bit of, they have really small steel wire. So I'll get one of those. They're very flexible. And my steel wire is... <clears throat> so it looks like this. And you can just, you know, take out a bunch of stuff and just cut up a little piece. Because you're only going to need it for like a threading the needle. Okay, but the needles are very flexible. And so that's what a needle starts with so what you do is you just bend it in half like this and of course you can make it longer longer is always better but you know this one's happened to be small whatever I make it work you bend it in half you get it as close as you can okay and then you're going to get your stretchy string so this is very stretchy like it really can do. So you're gonna get a good a good amount. Cause you figure you have to do a, go around your wrist. But you're also gonna use some for tying. Okay. So I don't measure, I just go ahead and use it because honestly it's a stretchy string. Um I know I I always go more than less because then I'm not fighting it. So Excuse me. So this is what you do. You grab the strings and that little needle you just made, you're just going to put it on here. In between. You know, how simple is that, right? And you can guess what this part is. Now. I usually just start in the middle somewhere in the circle here and I'll go like right here and I'll just start. <coughs> and I will put all of these, oh, see, this is kind of bent, kind of curves. So I'm gonna make it straight just by cutting it. See, now it's straight. So now when I do the wires and I put the bead through, it's gonna work. See? And then a lot of people put like clips and whatever on the back end. You can tie it if you want. Like you can just make a tie a knot so it doesn't come out the back end. Yeah, it's a stretchy string, so you can stretch it a little bit. There's one. Where's the other one? There it is. So you can put a knot at the end. It doesn't matter. I never really do anything. I just let it go. And now you're just going to take each bead and you're going to put it in. Let's go ahead. So how's everyone's week been? Oh, pink one. Spill through. That's it. This is an easy way how to do a simple DIY bracelet. Stretchy. Um, 
this round itself is around seven inches around, um, which is usually around most people. But if you need a little bit bigger, then just add more stones. No big deal. Rose quartz for love. Whoop, whoop. And here's a little trip and tip for you guys. Okay. Especially when dealing with crystals. If you wear it on your left hand, on your left, that means you will receive. If you wear it on your right hand, it is that you will emote or you will project from your persona, your aura, that of which the crystals are. So those that are seeking love usually put it on their left. Those that uh, want to project love or happiness will wear it on their right. Bet you didn't know that. <laughs> Does make a difference. But you have to, you know, in order for crystals to work, you have to believe it. That they're going to work. Because it otherwise it's just another stone on your brain on your wrist, and that's what it'll be. You put into it what you get out of it. Uh, sure, what to sacrifice in a van for crabs? <laughs> regular scissors, yep, just regular plain old scissors. Because the metals, the metal needle is very um, thin, so it cuts it no problem. My goodness, I didn't know that it was simple to throw away my bracelets when they break. Now I know how to fix them. Exactly. You don't have to. Uh, I actually repaired a few um, while I was on the cruise last. There was a couple, one of the casino hosts that I had known. She says, oh, my bracelet broke two times. I, I tied a knot and oh, let me fix that for you. And she was like, oh, my God, it, it worked. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, don't throw it away. Don't throw it away. You know, some people say that if a bracelet breaks, then the crystals have um, been used. And that's not true because crystals can be recharged. You know, it can be either recharged through copper. I have a copper bowl and spoon with a copper charging plate that I put it on. Um, and I'll put that overnight. Uh, I'll put them in clear quartz, chips. And I will let them recharge um, a full moon sunlight, uh, moonlight, sunlight, moonlight. That will recharge them as well. Okay, so we got to the part where we're going to put the charm in. So I'm going to add my two little golden spacers. Actually, you know what I want to do? Let's add some bling bling. Since we are using, oh no. Oh shoot. Now it's going to be fun. That is going to be fun. My case opened with all of my really tiny yay that's gonna be fun to sort yay for me must not have closed it all the way oh awesome great <laughs> let's use the faceted ones I have some rose quartz faceted. <clears throat> so let's add some bling bling. Put one there. Sometimes it gives you a hard time. <coughs> Grab a little plier and it will go through because it's a new needle. Okay, so we're going to put that in. Now, 
I have to use these two little spacers. Because this is where our charm is going to go. I'm going to put on the other second pink one. And then a second bling bling rose quartz passage two millimeter. Hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. There we go. Then one more. Strawberry quartz. All right. So now we've got them all on. And see, I have, I didn't even get to the knot. So I'll, I usually don't knot it because I never really get to the knot. All right. So my lovely beads here are going to have to get sorted later. Later. Oh, yay for me. <laughs> okay. It's the accoutrements. All right. And actually, I forgot to put on my little bling bling. Hmm. Well, when you forget to do something, that's the beauty part of design. You take the needle off, take the part off you need, put the needle back on. Can now do what you need to do. Bing. Naughty bead. Naughty bead. Naughty bead. Naughty bead. Do you know how those knots are between the pearl? How to do the knots that are between pearl necklaces? Yes, the pearl knot, you mean? Yes. The pearl knot, is that what you're asking? The little like uh, thread knot in between like two pearls. Is that what you're asking? Um, do you shop at the bead place in Quartzsite? No, because they're kind of expensive because their wards got around that they're supposed to be cheap and they're really not. Um, I do get my beads from China. I have a few trusted crystal shops that I use. Um, Micah's Crystal, uh, IAS Coolstone, um, ABC, and uh, DIY Crystals. Okay. So now we're at the end here. So what I do is I cut off my knot. But I uh, didn't need it, but I still did it to show you that you can. So I cut off the knot. Now what I do is I put one end into the hole, into the loop. Okay? So it's going to look like this. And then I go ahead and cinch it up. So I want all my beads to get to the other side. They should be on this side. So I'm going to get 
Okay, I don't want it to be too loose, but I want to give some give. Okay, now we're going to do what's called a surgeon's knot. Those errors are very forgiving. <laughs> yes, a pearl nut. I like those. Um, yeah, I can show you how to do it. It's fairly simple. Okay. So when you get here, I'm going to cross over, do a regular knot, right? But we're going to do a surgeon knot. Go over again. So you're going to go over once, go over twice, go over three times. So once, twice, okay, so it's going to look something like this, okay, and then you're going to pull that through. And I usually do it twice. Okay. This makes it so it doesn't go anywhere. So once, twice. Because a regular square knot, it goes, you know, can slip through, break, pretty easy. And one last one. I give it a good tug, let it all sit in there. Okay. And now I cut the strings. Woohoo! Now, if you guys ever see your bracelets have the ends like this, no, it's not broken, okay? And yes, you can get rid of that. What you do is you take your bead and you put the knot inside the bead. There you go. How you like that? Surprise, I would hope. It seems so slippery. That's why I do the sur surgeon's knot because it'll interlock itself, especially if you do three of them. Um, they interlock so it doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> That's how surgeons do stitches. They do it like a couple times and then they... Um, that's why they stay. And that's kind of a, a cord that doesn't stretch at all. So this is now. So now we've got to put on our charm because we have our nice little Sakura charm. So now we're going to get our little jump rings out. Dee, dee, dee. Okay, golden jump ring. I do golden jump ring. And I make these jump rings, so that's kind of a good thing. Yes, you can make jump rings out of steel wire, copper wire, or, you know, tarnish resistant wire. Like this. All right. So now... And the reason why I put those two there, so I can go ahead in the middle. Okay, so this is where it gets to be nice. Now you have to open the ring. Okay, so I just open the ring like that. I'm going to put it in. Okay. 
<laughs> you guys. So I'm working here, right? And Zeus is snoring. <laughs> it is the cutest thing. <laughs> I just dropped it. <laughs> I need a bigger dump ring. I'm going to need a bigger dump ring. That one ain't going to cut it. What on it, dummy? <laughs> There's a jump ring on it. Duh. All right. So we have to open it. Now you can use the tool opener. Where is my Where's my ring opener? Oh, that's something I gotta find. I just used it. Hmm. Okay. All right. So you use two needle nose. Just give it a little turn. And we are going to put this right in between. Okay. And then we're going to take it and we're going to bring it back. Oh, it happens. There we go. There's our finished product. Adorable. In the though, I mean, look. Come on, focus. Strawberry quartz with um, rose quartz. So you got strawberry with rose quartz. So, oh my God, you even have to. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> so this is how you make, and believe me, this this I can do in like three minutes. But at least you can see, you know, some of the creations that you can make. So that's a sakura flower. It's pink, and it goes well with the um, pink of pink aventurine with the strawberry quartz, pink aventurine, rose quartz, and then. This is what it looked like. <laughs> hey, hey, my brother from another mother. Tim's in the house. <laughs> That's so, however, I would have those little rings everywhere. I bought a small vacuum. Or my diamond beads. Oh, I know the diamond beads are so small. And I actually do have one um, for the, because as you just saw, my little box there got all messed up. So now I'm going to have to 
Yeah, that's going to be some fun sorting that one out. Hmm. I don't know if I'm liking the chain, though. I think I would have just put the bell on the actual other ring. I'm not liking the extender chain on it. What do you think, guys? Hey, Tin. Tingle dingle. Can you hear it? <laughs> What's a diamond bead? Um, the, the, the diamond paintings, they have little grabbers. I mean, they're really small. And you can make a picture out of them. Yeah, lose the chain. That's what I thought. I agree, too, because I'm not liking the extender chain on it. I think I would just rather have the bell right on there. <laughs> oh, you're so funny, <laughs> Gotta love it, man. <laughs> Lose the chain. What do I know? I'm a guy. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna lose it because I'm not happy with that. That doesn't it doesn't look right, it doesn't sit right. Okay. So we're gonna do it this way. Lose the chain. the flower. Much better. And still has my tingle jingle. Much better. Didn't like the chain. There you go. Okay. That's what I thought. It was the painting beads. Yes, the painting beads. Um, Can you just make the chain shorter? Oh, yes, of course you can. I think a couple of tingle jingles at different lengths. Oh. Um, we're not ignoring the <laughs> text I sent you. Um, I really believe you should have another element. Three is best. One more tingle jingle at a different length. I'm broke. Just paid uncles. Oh, ouch. Dude, oh, that hurts.
this will probably put the bell right at the bottom of the Sakura. Okay. Let's try it. And we can always take it apart, right? Three K. Jeez. Didn't pay your taxes, Tim. I think, guys. I was soliciting a fundraiser for my local EY and Tim ignored me. Oh, <laughs> that, ooh. Yep, add another tingle jingle and I'm going to claim that bracelet as mine. <laughs> Thank you very much. What the heck, Tim? You should do. Tim, you know that is that it was extended to October for California, Californiaites, for all the rain you guys have had. Must be all those YouTube earnings. <laughs> Now when you're doing DoorDash. Oh, yeah. DoorDash. That's right. You're a dasher in another way. Come on, bang. I believe Janice has claimed that one. <laughs> that looks much better. I think so, too. And the best part is you're doing the head, arms, legs. Head, arms, legs. So you've got the five points. Love it. Okay, so do I go to the website site to get it? Yes, uh, if you want to, <laughs> we were. I was just coming on to show you guys how to make a simple bracelet. I hope that fits around my wrist. Okay, here's what you can do. A lot of people have been asking about how does it fit my bra, how does it fit my wrist, so on and so forth. So here's how you're gonna do this. Okay. Uh, so take any string, any string at all, okay, just cut off a section of it, There's, I had my scissors, so they put it away, okay, so, oh, it's not going to go wrong, oh yeah it is, okay, 
So put it around your wrist. What I usually do is I take a pen or Sharpie or something, okay, and I make a one spot, okay? One spot, black spot on, on the string. And you'll understand why in a second, because you're all doing this in one hand, right? So when I cross the strings, I want to cross the strings over on that black. So wherever that black lands, okay, so I want to give it some space, but, you know, this is where I want to wear the bracelet. Now you can choose, you know, up further up your arm, it's a little bigger, you know, shorter, wherever you want to wear your bracelet. So let me take this one off so you can see better. So, like, I always wear my bracelets around here-ish. So I'm going to take my string and match up to that black spot, okay? Now, I know where that black spot is, right? So now I'm just going to let that side go and cut this right there. Okay, and here's my black spot. So I'm going to cut right at my black spot. This is how long your bracelet needs to be to be comfortable for you. So now you take your measuring tape. And you measure it at zero. So I'm about six and a half. So six and a half, seven. So like this bracelet, because it's around seven, it, see how it gives me a lot of room? Like normally for me, this wouldn't work because I like mine a little bit closer. So I'm a six and a half. So that's how you figure out what your wrist size is. Just take any old string, put it mark or black mark on one side, put it around to where you want to keep your bracelet, then hold it with that finger, let the black side go, cut it, cut the black, and that size is what your wrist is or where you want your bracelet to be. It also has to get past my hands. Yes. Well, here's the thing. This stretches a lot. <laughs> I mean, this stretchy string is pretty good. But, you know, I also can do others that have clasps. So you can take it on and off like a bangle. Um, like this, right, this one right here. I make, uh, you know, I don't have it where it's a stretchy string. So this goes on my wrist where I want it, and I slide it over the, the bead. With a, This is a snake knot. Yeah. Okay. And it just goes like that. So there are other ways to make bracelet. Hey, Savannah, how are you? Amanda G. Everybody's saying hi. So that's how you know or how to measure your wrist. And I'm going to make a, like, a, if you haven't followed my TikTok account, it's Outdoor Dash Travels. No, ODT Crystal. No, Outdoor Dash Travels. Um, Outdoor Dash Travels. That's what the ODT in ODT Crystal Jewelry is, by the way, guys. Outdoor Dash Travels. Come on. Yay. Um, but yeah, so we just did this. Yay. And then you can always make matching earrings, which are not hard to do. So you just put some strawberry in, in the strawberry quartz and the rose quartz together.
I'm good. Great. So what'd you think, guys? Do you want to make another one or, or a different one? We can make another, you know, um, I love that. Tingle tingles. I like the tingle jingles. You couldn't tell because I love this. This is my pea shoe. <laughs> These are my favorites. Let's see where I lost the comment. Everybody's saying hi. I'm good. What's the website? Uh, okay. ODT Crystal Jewelry <clears throat> COM. <laughs> Pretty easy. I'll put the link on the live. Um, and we'll just, just, I've been doing the $10 for all my lives. So what do you think? But measure your wrist first and let me know what your wrist is to make sure that this fits. Okay. And I can always make another one. As you can see, I have plenty. <laughs> I have plenty. I can make another one. Um, I'll tell you that the beads are cold. I hope they stay cold during the summertime. I'll, I'll tell you that they're supposed to be cold. They're not supposed to be hot. Crystals are not supposed to be hot. If they are, they're fake. Um, during the summertime, they stay cool. Was 90. Oh, ew. No, thank you. Um, I think it's really, I think it's really cool. I got to run. Have fun watching me. Have fun watching me. So bye, everyone. Oh, thank you, Pam. Thank you for showing up. Thank you so much. I mean, we'll start. I'll do the next one. We'll be earrings. So I'll teach you how to all do <laughs> Thank you so much, <laughs> my bang, Tim. I'm, I I can't I can't say it <laughs> per se. I love my green glowing break. I know, isn't it great? Those are my luminous. These are my luminous stones, and see, I got different colors, but they shine differently. They shine, you know. Oh, that's my highlight. Sorry, my bad. That's my blue highlight. These are my luminous. But see, the best part is I also have 10 millimeter and 4 millimeters. So I was going to create some. You know, here's like the 10 millimeters and the 4 millimeter. Like make these. And uh, ooh, I'm, I'm, I'm just curious to find out. If I were to turn off all the studio lights right now, <laughs> these, I, it's funny because at nighttime after I've been working, right, or I've been doing things, and I turn off my lights, and these two boxes are glowing. <laughs> I'm laughing because every time I look over, I'm like, what is that? What is that? What is that? Oh, it's the luminous beads. <laughs> Janet, 7.5. Yeah, this I know is about 7. So to make it the 7.5, it's two more beads, which is fine because, let me see, one, two, three, one, two, three. See, I had four here. So I can take this one out and put the two right here, right next to the, to the other. So I'll put the spacer and then put two more beads, and that should be the 7.5. Show support and hit the like. Thank you. Oops, eight. Okay. But see, here's the best part is when I lay them out after they're strung, I can measure. Um, because you know me, y'all. I know that this round is seven. 
um, because what I did is I took all of the beads. However, so let me get rid of some of these things. When I'm really doing like a, a lot of creations at once, um, I pull out this bad boy. So this one, there's my eight. So I would make your entire round, make sure everything fit, make sure everything was aligned up, look good, and then string it, then done. Same thing, seven and a half, six and a half, seven. So I make them all different sizes. But on the top of this board, all this, I have the inches, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'll go up to eight. So I'll make sure that in a line before I string them up that they reach eight. <laughs> eight for a little give, seven and a half for an exact fit. There you go. Or 775, let's go that way. Have a great weekend, y'all. I'll catch you later. Thanks, Tim. Thanks for showing up. Dang, those itty bitty fragile people with seven. <laughs> hey, I'm six. I'm not itty bitty, but I've got six and a half. Dang, those accoutrements are. <laughs> Actually, but it's thin. See, so it's thin, so it's easy to put somewhere. You have no idea, no idea of this stuff, but it's great because I can create, I can do what I need to do, and then I can go ahead and, um, I mean, that's the beauty part of it, shoot, so I can create and do what I need to do, and I have everything within reach. <laughs> keeping up with YouTube, Tim. But there you go. So I think I will go ahead and end this live, you all. Thank you so much for, you know, sharing this, how to do a simple bracelet. And I like this because it's just like, it is the head, arms, legs, five point. And the quality of the, the strawberry quartz, even it's a little cloudy, but it's still good quality. And the rose quartz, just the pinky pinky. And it's got some flash. Not a lot, but I mean, it's just really solid pink. And my Sakura with the jingles. Gotta have jingles. Love jingles. Our creation for today. Yay! Catch you later. I like it. Thank you. Thank you so much, everyone, for showing up. I appreciate you all. Have a blessed day. Stay safe out there, and I will talk to you guys on Sunday. Thanks. Bye. And as always, stop dreaming it. Start living it. Bye, y'all. <laughs> Bye.